This is Witchbase News for Friday the 4th of November 2022. I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week, Frontier makes its first developer acquisition. We round up the details from last nights FDev livestream. There are engineered modules up for grabs in this weeks trio of community goals. Frontier partners with its Elite Dangerous content creators and the Elite Dangerous Kickstarter is 10 years old. As always if you enjoy our stuff hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon to see all our Elite Dangerous content. You can also join our Patreon which directly supports the work we do here at the pit. Links to that and everything else are below. In a somewhat unexpected turn this week Frontier Developments announced that they were acquiring Complex Games, the Canada based developers of Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. Chaos Gate whilst being developed by Complex Games was published by Frontier under its Frontier Foundry banner and has been one of the publishing arms bigger successes receiving wide critical and player base acclaim for its uniquely Warhammer take on the turn based combat solidified by games like the XCOM series. The deal which is the first of its kind for Frontier is said to be worth in the region of up to 11 million pounds subject to some company targets being met. Frontier are launching a new content creators partner program this week as part of their continued support for Elite Dangerous. We're very pleased and proud to announce that we've been included in the program. Anyone who regularly streams or produces other Elite Dangerous content is able to apply via the Frontier Influencers site which you'll find linked below and the program promises to provide in-game cosmetics via Twitch drop campaigns and YouTube code bundles as well as exclusive partner program merchandise and other surprises. It's encouraging to see Frontier continuing to support Elite Dangerous and their community of content creators into the new year and here at the Burr Pit we look forward to bringing you the benefits of our inclusion in the program. My thanks to Commander Phoenix Defire of the Lave Radio podcast for the timely reminder that the Kickstarter that launched the public development of Elite Dangerous launched on November the 6th 2012 making the start of all that you see around you in the galaxy today 10 years old on Sunday. Just in case you weren't already feeling really old. The campaign originally planned to raise £1.25 million in its 60 days run but ended up raising just over £1.5 million after garnering support from 25,681 backers with the initial version of the game releasing just over a year later. Rewards for backing the campaign ranged from lifetime content passes including the exclusive Cobra Mark IV through to book license deals. A complete archive of the entire campaign including all of Frontiers videos is still available on the Kickstarter site which I've linked to below. There's a trio of community goals this week following Thursdays server tick and one of them sees everyone's favourite cackling moustache twirling megacore Azimuth Biotech trying to get a hand back in the game. This time Salvation's former employer is demanding materials to assist in building themselves an AX dedicated megaship and expanding their surface installation portfolio. As a sweetener on this particular dance with the devil participants are being offered a system permit to the Mabuni system where Azimuth sells its top of the line AX gear. The top 75% of contributors will also receive one fixed mount class 2 overcharged guardian plasma charger and the top 25% of contributors will receive two fixed mount class 2 overcharged guardian plasma chargers. In an effort to demonstrate balance and fairness there is also a counter goal operating to disrupt Azimuth's efforts with combat bonds gained against Azimuth security forces being collected in the one drama system. For their efforts the top 75 of contributors will receive one fixed mount class 2 rapid fire multi cannon and the top 25% of contributors will receive two fixed mount class 2 rapid fire multi cannons. 
As a counter to the counter community goal Azimuth Evil Incorporated is further offering the top 75% and top 25% of contributors that bring them scalps of counter azimuth forces the same fixed mount class 2 overcharged guardian plasma chargers as per the other half of the azimuth goal. As per usual the goals are all scheduled to run for one week unless their targets are met before the deadline. It was livestream week this week for the Frontier Developments Elite Dangerous Community team and in a change from the usual format due to some scheduling conflicts and resultant technical constraints the stream was this week only available on Twitch and the presenters Sally and Arthur were locked into the smaller studio and not the usual larger broadcasting space that we'd become used to seeing. Arthur started the stream with a reminder that update 14 was scheduled for the end of November describing it as a doozy and also importantly not the final update. The stream featured two interviews this week and unusually these interviews were both with community figureheads. Kicking off the duet of interviews first we heard from Commander LCU no full like one of Canon Interstellar Research. In the pre-recorded interview LCU spoke to Bruce Garrido about the approaching Stargoid phenomena, talking about how they first came to be discovered and Canon's tools and methodology for tracking the now 8 in number incoming anomalies. LCU also spoke about his work with the Galactic Exploration Catalog that tracks and maintains a public archive of significant commander discoveries and points of interest. The interview was unfortunately cut short due to technical problems but Frontier have promised to make an archive of the full interview available on YouTube and if you're curious to see Canon's Stargoid tracking in action or the Galactic Exploration Catalog then I've linked to both of those tools below. The second interview was with Twitch streamer and lore aficionado Grinning Crow who sat down in the studio with Arthur talking lore, his relationship to it and how he attempts to interpret it for his audience. Arthur spoke about the creation of lore for the game and how nothing is put into the game for no reason, some of it obvious, some of it not, being placed into the game more as a seed for something in the future. As a further example, without wishing to delve into spoilers, Arthur specifically made mention that he'd been asked whether a certain thing in the game was a mistake to which he replied, no, it was intentional. I'll leave it up to you to decipher what he could possibly be talking about there. The stream finishes with a reminder that the stream will be back in 2 weeks time back in the regular studio space and it's worth noting with that schedule in mind that this will be the last stream of the month and therefore the last opportunity for Frontier to talk about update 14 before it presumably releases scheduled as it is currently for the end of November. What secret do you think Arthur was alluding to? Were you part of the Elite Dangerous Kickstarter and are you planning on backing or opposing Azimuth Biotech this week? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.